Hey what's up folks this is GK. So if you have this doubt of whether you should learn DevOps or Cloud or what is the difference between DevOps or Cloud. So where does Cloud fit into DevOps. So I'm going to address all these questions in this video. In the first part of the video I will help you understand how is Cloud different from DevOps or if it is actually different from DevOps. In the second part of the video I'm going to address how you can prepare for Cloud and DevOps together and why it is important to prepare it that way. So before I go into the differences or what is cloud versus DevOps or DevOps versus cloud. Let's first try to understand the definition of DevOps. And I have discussed this in the previous video where I have explained about the three important metrics of DevOps and why uh, companies use DevOps or digital transformation. I have discussed a lot of those things in my DevOps playlist, but also please do watch what is DevOps video so that you'll understand uh, the high level definition and what are the three key important metrics in DevOps. Now one metric out of that video is called velocity. So when companies are trying to adopt DevOps, the first thing they do is they adopt it because they want to reach to the customers faster. You know, either their code or either their software or change that has to go to the customer faster. So that's why velocity is very important metric. Now DevOps as a software engineering practice, it blurs the line between the dev and operations. And this is a common definition that you see, you know, the wall of confusion or whatever you call it, that is there between the development team and the operations team. So you blur that line and that way you will have a better collaborations between the dev and operations team. So DevOps hugely proponents automation. That's why in the DevOps tool chain or in the CICD tool chain, you see a lot of tools that come in or a lot of platforms that come in to help you to automate the traditional practices because only that way you would achieve that velocity or you would achieve the faster to the market metric that is important for the company. Now that we know that DevOps is about automation and the practices and the cultural thing. So where does cloud fit into this whole stuff, you know, this whole automation. So as a developer or as a company, you also want to provision the infrastructure as fast as you can, because that's an important thing whenever you're deploying the code or whenever you're trying to, you know, get to the customers, you need infrastructure. So cloud provides that unlimited processing power in, in fingertips, right? If you take AWS or GCP, within seconds, you can provision whatever you want. The whole infrastructure, right from DNS to the database, you can provision the infrastructure. Now, when a DevOps engineer would set up this infrastructure or automate this whole provisioning of the infrastructure, that will help the developers to use those scripts and immediately provision uh, the infrastructure without relying on a, a system engineer that used to be the traditional way of doing things in the data center. And that's why you see that it is in a way, you know, blurring the line between the dev and operations because now the operations team has made that infrastructure or uh, made that uh, servers available for the developers through scripts and now developers can invoke them easily through Jenkins or through CI CD or through GitOps or through whatever means that is available for the developers to use those scripts. The cloud technology offers developers the self-servicing model that is very important if you want to achieve that speed or agility. Now, when it comes to how should you prepare for the DevOps or how should you prepare for the cloud? Now, you will see that in the market most of the time, uh, when you go for interview as a DevOps engineer or when you apply as a DevOps engineer, so the minimum requirement is that you should know cloud. And that's why you will not see both of them differently. Uh, you know, uh, when you apply as a DevOps engineer, they would ask you either you have experience on one of the clouds, AWS, GCP or Azure. And then if you answer them, then that's good enough. So you can say like cloud is a subset of DevOps and DevOps is this huge cultural transformation or the digital transformation and cloud plays the most important role as part of the digital transformation. So now what I would suggest you is, I would suggest you to learn these two things together. I'll give you some examples. Now, let's say you're preparing for AWS or you're preparing for GCP or Azure. So when you are <clears throat> preparing for GCP, as an example, let's say as part of the certification, you have learned how to create the compute engine or how to provision a cloud function or how to create a cloud function from the console. Now, first step, what you do is you create these services from console, get used to them, you know, practice them, how to use the service, how to expose the service through an API gateway or how to look at the logs, how to create a VPC or how to create a VPC endpoint. Basically all those things you practice through the console. So the next thing that you do is automate that part. Now, how do you automate that? You can use Terraform to automate that 
or you can use Pulomi to automate that. But basically you use Terraform to automate this infrastructure. And now the next thing is imagine how a company would use that, you know, to provision the infrastructure. So a company would, like I've said, you know, export those scripts or make those scripts available to the developers through some, to, uh, through some, you know, CI/CD pipeline. Let's say, you know, GitLab CI or GitHub Actions or even Jenkins. So now as a DevOps engineer, how would you make those scripts, the Terraform scripts available to the developer or to the team? And what you do is you deploy, you rather, you know, commit those scripts to or push those scripts to the GitHub and then create this CI pipeline or create this, you know, uh, Jenkins pipeline. And now when developer want to use those scripts, developer would uh, make changes or developer would you know invoke the pipeline and then it will it will immediately create the infrastructure that way you are learning both cloud and as well as the devops practices that are important for you to you know in real time show how a company can use these pipelines and also provision the infrastructure that makes you a perfect devops engineer right from you know using the pipelines to uh, learning the cloud as well and that's the best way of learning and the second scenario if you want to throw more examples is now let's say you have provision infrastructure now you want to destroy some infrastructure or you want to stop some instances or delete some instances or you want to per, uh, you want to perform an action on one of the instances that came up based on the tags or apply the tags or delete that instance if the tags were not set on that instance so you have to write some python scripts for that so write the python script and then make that python script available again in the GitLab or GitHub. Um, so you will know how to use GitHub and then make them available in the cloud function. Obviously you have to deploy them in a cloud function or in a Lambda function. So that way you can uh, invoke them as soon as something comes up or an instance comes up, you want to delete the instance or you want to schedule the instance. So you can come up with these scenarios and then learn with the tools of, you know, DevOps tools or, you know, DevOps practices that you want to be learning cloud with. So now that way you will learn the DevOps and cloud together instead of looking them uh, differently or separately. Now if you're learning Azure DevOps that's even better because you know Azure DevOps has both of them together because you have Azure DevOps as a as a platform by itself and then when you are trying to adopt or when you're trying to write scripts or create pipelines you're also deploying to the Azure cloud itself and that's one way of learning. And same applies with AWS or GCP. So whenever you're learning cloud, make sure that you think like a DevOps engineer, how you want to implement that with the pipelines or with the CI CD, uh, you know, tools, how these things are going to work. So I hope this clears your confusion, whether to learn DevOps or whether to learn cloud. And I have seen them in my comments long back, which one to learn or how, how DevOps and cloud are different. Now, don't look at them as a different technologies or anything like that. Just make sure that everything end of the day comes as part of the DevOps practices. And that way you'll always make sure that whatever you're learning, you will make it as part of the DevOps practice or the DevOps, you know, software engineering uh, practice that is important for the company to adopt. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions around this or if you do not have any questions, give it a like and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.